السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعالك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا يا أرحم الراحمين ولا نسوءك الله سبحانه وتعالى says محمد and say verily we will we will please you with regard to your ummah never displease you so Allah سبحانه وتعالى has created Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he labeled him as his love. When we, when we have something that we love, we want to keep it for ourselves. We don't want to share it with anyone. We will be scared that they think that we love might be uh, affected or it might it might not be safe for everyone so we want to keep it for for ourselves only but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he created he keep, keep him for himself but he gave us a love of him and when we 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 just remember that this is the title that Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has given, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Habibullah. So the complete hadith that we are going to, to uh, have a look on today أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم تلا قول الله عز وجل في إبراهيم صلى الله عليه وسلم رب إنهن أضللن كثيرا من الناس فمن تبعني فإنه مني So this is Sayyidina, uh, uh, Sayyidina Ibrahim and the surah is Surah Ibrahim Ayah 36 وقول عيسى so تلا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أيضا قول عيسى عليه السلام إن تعذبهم فإنهم عبادك وإن تغفر لهم فإنك أنت العزيز الحكيم this is سورة المائدة آية 118 so what did Sayyidina Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم do فرفع يديه وقال اللهم أمتي أمتي وبكى فقال الله عز وجل يا جبريل اذهب إلى محمد وربك أعلم فسله ما يبكيه فأتاه جبريل فأخبره رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بما قال وهو أعلم فقال الله تعالى يا جبريل اذهب إلى محمد فقل إنا سنرضيك في أمتك ولا نسوءك. So Abdullah bin Amr bin al-As radiyallahu an reported that uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recited the words of Allah uh, azza wa jal regarding Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam when he said he was talking about his um and he said oh my Rabb they have led astray many among mankind. Rabbi innahunna adlalna kathiran min al-nas. But whosoever follows me, faman tabi'ani, fa'innahu minni. He is verily, is of me. He also recited the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about Sayyidina Isa, about Jesus radiallahu anhu. So he said, if you, 
if you punish them, they are your slaves. And if you forgive them, verily, you, only you, are the almighty, the all-wise. Then Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam raised up his hands and said, Oh Allah, my ummah, my ummah. And he wept. And Allah Azza wa Jal said, Oh Jibreel, go to Muhammad and ask him. And, I, and of course Allah knows the answer. But go ask him, what makes you weep? So Jibreel alayhi salam came to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and asked him the reason for his weeping. And the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed him what he had said. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of course, knows. Upon, upon this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Jibreel alayhi salam, O Jibreel, go to Muhammad and say, Verily, we will please you with your with uh, regard to your ummah, and will never displease you. This is the love of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When you love someone, you take care of his worries. You try to help him. So say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he knows that he is concerned about his ummah. You know that this is what worries him. So he said, we will please you with regard to your ummah. Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was revealed to by Jibreel alayhi salam. And he was one of the people amongst his time. And Allah mentioned that in, in, in the Quran. And he said, لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِّنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَا عَنِتُّمْ حَرِيصٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَؤُوفٌ رَحِيمٌ there has, there has certainly come to you a messenger from among yourselves. Grievous to him is what you suffer. He is concerned over you and to the believers, he is kind and merciful. So he worries about his ummah. He worries that his ummah are of the winners on the day of judgment. He wants them to be on the, uh, of the winners on the day of judgment. And he is worried that this, his ummah will go astray. This is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to his ummah. He, he bil mu'minina ra'ufun rahim. So his heart is merciful to his ummah. Another reading for this ayah is min anfasikum. He is the best amongst you. So he is one of you, but he is the best amongst you. Now let's take the example of a caring father. A caring father sacrifices a lot for his family. He works hard to get the needed money for his uh, to pay for, for, for the college tuition of his children. He works day and night. He cares about, about his children. Uh, he, he, he takes about 
who they they have there as their friends he wants his children to be safe in this and happy in this dunya and he says that's why he says do this don't do that he always gives directions to his to his children and that's out of his love to them out of his care to them he knows more about about this life he's more experienced than his children so his love his care towards them make make him worried about them but you know what the true love is his true love is manifested in his fear about his about the akhirah of his children he he doesn't only care about their dunya about getting them happy in this dunya no he wants them happy in the day after also he cares about their akhirah he wants he wants them to be saved in the akhirah and this is called true love so true love has two two polars the, his love for their dunya to get to be as perfect as possible and his love for their akhirah so they are saved on the day of judgment so he ask uh, he he makes it easy for his children to join groups of remembrance groups of dhikr he tries to help them choose good friends he tries to give them uh, to get them get the proper islamic religious knowledge so with all this love they should be good children towards their father they should be the the best children who appreciate all the efforts that their father their father is doing for them now comparing this to to the true love of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh sayyidina muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is so careful about his ummah he is so concerned about them as his own children aisha radiyallahu anha said inni la ara al mawla yusari'u fi ridaka wa la sawfa yu'tika rabbuka fatarda i see that your lord is uh, uh, is always pleasing you and he your lord is going to give you and you will be satisfied now each group of people will have or do have an ayah in the quran that that is called for them the ayah the ayah of hope this ayah of hope will save them on the day of judgment so the common people the common muslims they they have hope in the ayah in surah az-zumar in ayah 53 when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says qul ya ibadi alladhina asrafu ala anfusihim la taqnatu min rahmati allah inna allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'a in Spare of the mercy of Allah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala 
has created mercy and he divided it into 100 portion. He got down on earth just one part and he left the 99 portions to the day of judgments to show us his mercy. He promised Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we will be, uh, we will make you happy on the day of judgment. So we will please you with your ummah. You will be pleased with the way that they will be treated on the day of judgment. So do not the those people of, of the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who have sinned, do not get despair of the mercy of Allah. Why? Because Allah, indeed, Allah forgives all sins. And indeed, it is he who is the forgiving, the merciful. So th this is the first part of people, the common part of Muslims. Now the second part is the family of Rasulullah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Duha, وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى And you Lord is going to give you and you will be satisfied. And Aisha radiallahu anha said, Inni la ara al mawla yusari'u fi ridaka. Your Lord is going uh, to please you. So when Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, uh, read this surah, surah al-duha, this ayah, وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى He said, fire. So he won't accept that any person of his family is in hellfire. And his family extends to his children, grandchildren, grandchildren, and all his lineage. The third group is represented by one person, Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu said that there is an ayah in the Quran that gives me hope. قُلْ كُلٌّ يَعْمَلُ عَلَى شَاكِلَتِهِ this is Surah Al-Isra, Ayah 84. Each works according to his manner. So the word shakila is according to the way that he wants, that he, not, uh, that, that he is uh, formed by. So he says, shakilati, that I am a sinner. And the shakila of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that he is the forgiver. So he said, I am a sinner and you are the forgiver. This is his hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam, when, when he sinned, he said to Allah, Ya Allah, I ask you for forgiveness for the sake of your Habib, for the sake of your lover, Muhammad. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him, how do you know that I love him? And Adam alayhi salam said, when, when you created me, I, I, I raised up my head and I saw his name connected to your name. And if you don't love him, you won't connect his name to yours. I know he is special for you. And I'm asking you that for your Habib, for this special person, I want you to forgive me, Allah. So, of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is that all the 
prophets on the day of judgment sit on pulpits of light manabir min nur except for sayyidina muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam his seat is empty he is looking after his ummah he is going from here to there trying to find his ummah and when when uh, the angels tell him that there is a group in hellfire he would go to hellfire he would beg allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to get his ummah out of hellfire why would he do that because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised him we will please you with regards to your ummah when people on the day of judgment stand and wait until allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts the reckoning so they are waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting until they wish that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would take them to hellfire so that this waiting stops they don't wait anymore So when Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam see people coming to him on the day of judgment, asking him for intercession so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would start the reckoning, he said, فَيَأْتُونِي فَأَسْتَأْذِنُ عَلَىٰ رَبِّي فَيُؤْذَنُ لِي So, the, they would come to me and I would ask for permission from فَإِذَا أَنَا رَأَيْتُ وَقَعْتُ سَاجِدًا فَيَدَعُنِي مَا شَاءُ اللَّهِ So when When I see, when I would see him, when I would see Allah, I would fall down in prostration. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will leave me thus as long as he would, he would wish. So, فَيُقَالُ يَا مُحَمَّدْ إِرْفَعْ رَأْسَكْ قُلْ تُسْمَعْ سَلْ تُعْطَ إِشْفَعْ تُشَفَّعْ and it would uh, then be said, Oh Muhammad, raise your head. Say what you uh, say and you would be heard. Ask and it would be granted. So, فَأَرْفَعُ رَأْسِي فَأَحْمَدُ رَبِّي بِتَحْمِيدٍ يُعَلِّمْنِيهِ رَبِّي ثُمَّ أَشْفَعْ So I I would raise my head and uh, I will talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I will I will praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with words that He teaches me, with words that I never used before. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala فَأَرْفَعُ رَأْسِي فَأَحْمَدُ رَبِّي ثُمَّ أَشْفَعُ So I raise my, my head and I, uh, I would bring out, uh, I would ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for intercession and it will be given to me. And of course, uh, this hadith is long, so we will not go over it again. We mentioned this hadith earlier in, in previous sessions. So this is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Verily, we will please you with your ummah, with regards to your ummah, and will never displease you. This is Allah's promise to Allah promised to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's love. 
And Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loves his ummah. He's the father who takes care of his children. He loves his ummah. Now imagine a father taking his, his baby to, to, the, to a doctor, uh, begging him to do a, a surgery so that this surgery would lift up the danger that his, his child is suffering from. He knows that the knife is going to cut his, the, the, the small body of his child. But at the same time, he knows that his child is in danger. And this surgery, which, in which the, the knife is going to cut his, the, the, the body of his child, it, it, this surgery will save him. So Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is careful about his ummah. He wanted all people to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He wanted all people to be sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he has a taste of what this love means. And he wants all people of his ummah to, to taste the sweetness Iman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Surah Al-Anbiya, Ayah 107, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ And we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy to the world. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This, this is his lover. Allah loves Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he has promised him that I will, I will please you with your ummah. Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the caring father to all the children of his ummah. I'm going to tell you a story about a caring father who loved his son. His son was uh, about 13 years old and he used to go with his parents to visit his grandma who lives about an hour by train. And they would go all together, his parents and him, they would go and visit, and visit his grandma. One day he said to his dad, Dad, I am, I am big enough now. I want you to buy me a ticket and I will go by myself. And the father agreed. And uh, he... Uh, he gave him, on the day of traveling, he gave him a folded paper. And he said to him, listen, this is a paper that you do not read except if you feel scared of anything. You just open this, this paper and you read it. So this paper is a paper of hope for the child when he feels scared. Now, the father dropped his son at the station and the son got on the train and the journey started. Just some time passed and suddenly, the child just looked and he noticed that someone is gazing at him. Someone is looking suspiciously at him. He tried to ignore him, but whenever he would turn his head, he would see that this man is looking at him. And he didn't like the way the, the, the man is looking at him at. He started to feel anxious. And a few minutes later, 
this anxiety turned to being scared. At that moment, he remembered his father. He remembered the, the paper that his father, the folded paper that his father has given him. He opened it and he read it. And he was so happy. So what was in the paper? He said, my son, I am with you on the train, just a few seats behind you. So the father, the father feels that his need, his, his son will need him. He's so young. Now I say that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is, is the father for all, all his ummah. He knows that this life is full of turbulences. There are so many arrows that are heading uh, against his, his uh, ummah. So he, he's trying to help them. He's trying to save them. He's trying to show them the, the true path, the, the safe path that would lead to the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves Sayyidina Muhammad. And Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loves us. It's a chain, a chain of love. So we should appreciate the love of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we should follow his footsteps. We should follow him. So Allah promised his Habib, We will make you happy on the day of judgment. This is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will use on the day of judgment. He will show us the true mercy on the day of judgment. So this is the promise of Allah to his Habib that he will please him with his ummah. And we, as Muslims, we, we, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has created us of the ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The ummah who will be saved on the day of judgment. Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Shafa'ati li ahli al-kaba'iri min ummati. My intercession for those people who have big sins. So do not despair. Do not say, oh, I sinned so much. No, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the forgiver. And he promised his habib that he will save his ummah on the day of judgment. So with this, acknowledge our love to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we, we, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are of, of his ummah, that he has chosen us amongst all the creatures to be of the ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We, we saw the, the ayahs of hope in the Quran that we will be saved on the day of judgment. So we love you, Ya Allah. We love you, Ya Sayyidina, Ya Rasulullah. Because we know that this love is the shortcut for us on the day of judgment. Because Allah, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, يُحْشَرُ الْمَرْءُ مَعَ مَنْ أَحَبُّ So on the day of judgment, we will be resurrected with those whom we love. And we, 
we ask you, Ya Allah, to witness that we love your Habib. And we ask you to uh, get us resurrected with him. And we are sure of that because you promised. And with this, we come to the end of this series, this series of the 40 Qudsi Hadith that are the words of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which were revealed to, to him by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And again, the, the uh, Qudsi Hadith, even though they were revealed to Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we cannot read them during the Salah. This is only Hadith Qudsi that we, we have another form of revelation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the first one is the Quran and the second one is called the Hadith Qudsi and we covered so many of them during this 12 series sessions. Jazakumullahu khair. And inshallah, until we meet again in another session, another group of uh, uh, classes, we send our love, we send our salawat, we send our salam to our Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we tell him, we love you. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته